<laughs> Clean. Kinda. I have to look good for the trial, okay? The judge has to think I'm somewhat presentable. So let's get into the let's get into the trial. Yikes. October 14th, 9.41 a.m. That's scary. It's 9.12 a.m. here. District Court. Defendant Lobby Number 4. Oh, hey, Nick! I'm always the first one to show up in these, uh, trial starting. Hey, Nick! What is it this time, Maya? Leave me alone, my. You won't believe how many people are here for the trial. Well, it's a murder case. What are you talking about? They're here for the trial next door. Next door? Why don't you know? <laughs> Why don't you know this, Nick? <sighs> They're having Detective Atme's trial today. What? There's a trial going on for him? The same time as we're having a trial? What? Detective Atme? They say they're going to try him as Mask Star to Mask. Oh, shit. Okay. Already? That was fast. Yeah, because trials don't happen quick as shit in this game. Huh. Someone gets murdered. When's the trial? Tomorrow. <laughs> Boy, I'd love to see Mask Star to Mask's trial. I know. <laughs> By the way, where's Pearls? Oh, she went back home. She said she can't neglect her training anymore. Yeah, because she sure needs it. I know you don't like me. Pearls has really gotten... That is how you spell gotten, isn't it? Oh my gosh. Pearls has really gotten into her training lately, huh? Yeah, ever since that incident last year. Please, don't ignore me! Oh, Mr. Delight! Good morning! <laughs> no one likes me. No one would notice me even if I killed someone. Come on, don't be silly. Wait a second. <laughs> you don't mean you're the murderer? No, no, I'm just a poor thief! Ellipses. No, wait, that's not right. A thief can't be... Now, let's see. According to Mr. Delight, from his second crime on, he was following a bunch of set plans. Plans that someone had been sending to him to help him commit the heists. Yeah. He's low-key the middleman. That is crazy. Do you really think there's a connection between the thief and the murder, Nick? It's possible, but today's trial is a race against the clock. Huh? How come? Let's just... Oh my god. <coughs> oh, I almost hurled a pizza all over my microphone. Let's just take our time, like always. I'm afraid... It's not an option. Ellipses question mark? Tr wait, uh, <laughs> I'm confused about that. Wait, why would we be in a rush, actually? To the 14th, 10 a.m. District Square, number six. Okay. Hello, Godot. Hello, V. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Ron Delight. The defense is ready, as usual, Your Honor. You're ready. Preparation is the last refuge of the weak. Refuge? I don't know. Okay, settle down everyone. Let's begin with your opening statement, Mr. Godot. Ugh, he's got the judge in the palm of his hand. Again. Ron Delight is simply too young to be sent to war. That's all. Hmm. I'm afraid I have no idea what that means, Mr. Godot. Ha. Uh. <laughs> then you need to get out more, Your Honor. Life is war. But that is exactly why you must be more precise in your wording. That's all my statement means. 
You understand now, right? Yes, well then, let me briefly summarize the details of this case. Wow, the judge is taking charge like he knows what's going on for a change. How nice. <laughs> Why does that guy's face make me laugh, bro? He looks like Wario, he looks like... He looks like Dojima a little bit from uh, Yakuza, Yakuza, whatever. The victim is Kane Bullard, CEO of KB Security. He got, <laughs> I don't know, he got DDT'd on the floor. His body was found in a safe at approximately 9 a.m. on the morning of the 13th. Okay. However, the time of death was estimated as yachting in court as 1 a.m. of the previous day. And that's when our little lost kitten dropped the ball. That little lost kitten is, of course, the defendant. Schmack. Very well then, Mr. Godot. Please call your first witness. No need. I never drink more than 17 cups of coffee during any given trial. But the first one... It's always the best. Oh, um, Mr. Godot, your witness? <laughs> okay then. Let's hear what the defendant, Mr. Ron Delight, has to say for himself. Apparently you can't do this. Like, I remember watching a video, and I even mentioned this in one of the previous videos. You can't call the defendant to speak for themselves. You can't call them as a witness. The defendant? Well, Mr. Wright. Does the defense have any objections? Maybe a bit of a disadvantage having the defendant testify, it's also illegal, but... Shit. I remember when Mia was defending me. Case one. Case one. She allowed me to testify so she could do the cross-examination. Oh. She put a lot of trust in me back then. Hmm. We have no objections, Your Honor. The defense will allow Mr. Delight to testify. Ha! Huh. You've got guts, trite. Schmack. All right then, Mr. Ron Delight. Please take this time. Ah. You did it. <laughs> Oh my god, this man is so irritating, kind of, but, like, I love him for it. You did it, didn't you? No. Hmm. For a moment there, I thought we'd set the record for the shortest trial ever. <sighs> well, Mr. Delight already looks pretty guilty with that face he's making. And once he opens his big mouth, he'll probably put the last nail on his own coffin. Ha. <laughs> Very well. Now then, can you tell me something? If you didn't kill Bullard, why did you go to KB Security? Well, I... that's kind of hard to say. Boy, I wish I could... Speak up! Now then, let's hear some testimony about what happened. My visit to KB Security. That evening, around 1 a.m., I went to see Mr. Bullard in his office at KB Security. The, I can't keep doing that. Oh, thank you, thank you. The blackmail letter I got, it ordered me to go there. I had been working for KB Security until a year ago, so I knew where his office was. It's a very short testimony. 1 a.m. The exact time the murder took place. 
the weak get washed away by the tides of fate. The strong drink it up. Ha! It's better today, too. Just like my destiny. You'd never know that f you'd never know that from the way he's chugging it down. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, if you please. Let's get it. I feel like this is a press uh thing. Like I have to press in order to get more, because I really do not think I can get him on anything here. I mean, the blackmail letter I got, it ordered me to go there. I've been working for KB Security until a year ago, so I know where his office was. Sure, okay. 1 a.m., huh? You're absolutely sure about that? Yes. That's what my watch said when I was entering the CEO's office. Uh, no. Actually, I'm not really sure. My watch was slow, and... My internal clock was also... 1 a.m. That's the exact time the victim, Mr. Bullard, was murdered, correct? It's too late for a coffee date, that's for sure. Not in coffee talk! Not in coffee talk! Black letter I got in order me to go there. It ordered you there. It was the first time I'd gotten a blackmail letter that ordered me to go somewhere. Does that mean you've gotten other blackmail letters, then? Oh, of course. They'd say things like, steal this, or take that. <laughs> Why don't you save those for later, Mr. Light? Please shut up. Now what should I do? Press harder. So, what did the blackmail letter in question say? It said to bring $50,000. Money, huh? A perfect motive for committing murder. Oh, but wait, wait! I, I never intended to pay that money anyway. Oh, is that right? After all, he had nothing to hold over my head. I had nothing to be afraid of. Hmm, an important point indeed. Schmack, witness, let's have that added to your testimony. Yes, sir. A muddy mudskipper in outer space has a better chance of surviving than I do. I have no idea why you just said that. Uh, scare me, it was going to- it wasn't going to cause me trouble or anything. Uh, bullshit. What do you mean, actually? Hold on. I can just present the damn letter itself. Look what it says. If you don't, I'll take that red diamond you received the other day instead. I was wrong. This evidence clearly doesn't do anything, Your Honor, I'm sorry. Just what were you being blackmailed about anyway? Yeah, blackmail means... Whatever. The blackmail letter said if you don't want your identity revealed, correct? So really, I, I should be right. I'm sure it was referring to the whole mask star to mask thing. But I wasn't worried. Mr. Bullard didn't have anything on me. He didn't? Anyway, I don't care what anyone says about me. Just as long as Desi believes in me. So that's why Miss Delight didn't believe he was Mask Star Mask. That's why I knew they were just hollow threats. Hmm. Yeah, hmm, that's what I'm saying. I've been working for KB Security until a year ago, so I knew where his office was. That's the end of the... This is the end of it. You used to be a security chief for KB Security, right? Yes, that's right. A security chief? You? <laughs> you? <laughs> and yet, a year ago, you were fired without notice. Revenge for an old grudge? A perfect motive for murder, wouldn't you say? Mm. This isn't good. Maybe I should change the subject? We don't know why he was fired, do we? Hold on. Hold on.
Yeah, why was- why? Because he was a security guard during the murder, or during the thefts, his first few. Yeah? Life after being fired? Stop. Uh, let me see. Deadass. And just say, why was he fired? Yeah, right. Mr. Delight, please tell us why you were fired from your job. Well? The world is filled with those who have said, I wish I had never asked that. Uh, okay, then I take- Defendant, please answer the question. I- Well, I needed money. You needed money? Um, well, you see, Desi loves to spend it. It's kind of her hobby. Not exactly the best hobby in the world, huh, Nick? My salary wasn't nearly enough. And, you know, she couldn't get a- Oh, I was about to make a joke? But not anymore. So, I stole data from the company. Okay. Come ag- Come again? KB Security has a lot of security info on all sorts of companies. And since I was the security team chief, you stole some data and sold it. Mr. Bullard found out. I was fired immediately. What? I wish I had never asked that. Well, now you know, actually. This could come in handy later. I was somehow able to keep it secret and made it seem like I had quit on my own. What is it, Nick? You don't look so good. Someone who brings harm to their company is fired as punishment. You'd do well to remember that. He sure told you. Maya, you're literally right next to me. He could have been talking to you as well. So you admit that you stole data from your security company? Is that correct? Yes. I'm sorry. This is a very important fact. Please add it to your testimony. Oh man. This whole thing just took a big turn for the worse, crashed, and then blew up. Kinda like the the Miney sisters, right? It's gonna take the jaws of life to rip this case from the clutches of disaster. Shit. But Desi doesn't know about that. Why would you say that? Well, let me pr Dude, just keep pressing, good lord. Why would you do something like that? Well, for Desi's hobby. What else? Wasting money. Huh. <laughs> if someone would really just waste money. It's not a waste! So Miss Delight doesn't know that her husband was fired, does she? Does she? I don't remember. Hates criminals and cowards more than anything. I didn't- I haven't edited the previous video yet, so I assume that yes, that is the case. She doesn't know. So it would seem. I'm not sure what to think about couples who keep secrets like that from each other. I can't believe it. This case has gotten even Maya to think seriously about couples. Please try to stay focused, Mr. Wright. Hmm. There wasn't much to his testimony, was there? Sounds like he's avoiding something. At least, that's what it sounds like to me. Uh-oh. I've got a bad feeling about this. We'd better be careful. But if we don't find a way to make him spill the beans, we'll never get closer to the truth. Yeah. Okay, he's gonna start over that evening around 1 a.m. I want to see Mr. Bob. Okay, we're gonna save again. I mean, there didn't scare me. It wasn't going to cause me any trouble or anything. Uh, where did... Let me try pressing him and choosing the other thing. Yeah, used to be a... Yeah, that's right. Yep. Okay, he fired me for selling company. Oh, okay. Maybe I did answer the right thing. Hold on. Objection. Objection. I... Whoopsies. Sorry. Sorry, actually. I didn't see what that last text is. Oh, I can load it. Hold on. 
Okay, so what was this? Yeah, okay, 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 okay. Just what were you being blackmailed about anyway? Yeah, the blackmail letter said if you don't want your identity revealed. I'm sure it was referring to the whole mask sort of mask thing. Okay, so this is new. Tisk tisk. I'm afraid that reason isn't going to hold up anymore. What do you mean? The victim had no proof the defendant was Mask Star to Mask. But you were the one who stole company secrets. Only one. Oh my gosh, I'm a dummy. I really cannot make connections anymore. I was watching my previous videos. I feel like I used to be on the ball a lot more. But now I'm not very good. So yeah, you, did, you, you didn't have anything to hold over me. You stole secrets. Okay, I get it. Easy. You're the one who stole company secrets only one year earlier. But, 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 that was all over once I was fired. But it is true that the fact that I stole the secrets was kept under wraps. Even so, there was no reason for me to pay up now, a whole year later. Hmm. Is that really true? Yeah, right. He told you to bring 50 grand. I hate this music. Ah, uh, I like it, but I don't. What is it, Nick? The fact that Ron was stealing company data. I wonder if he would have had a problem if that ever became public knowledge. <laughs> you could say that about anybody! Yes, it would! Would it? <gasps> yes! Desi! Desi, Desi, Desi! Mr. Delight. I would believe you would- oh yeah, I believe you would have been in considerable trouble if your identity as a company data theft was made public. <laughs> Mr. Wright, what are you trying to do by bullying your own client? Huh. <laughs> Men are like colonies of bacteria. The more heat you apply, the faster they grow. Th that's exactly right! Well then, feel free to keep up the heat, my little lawyer amigo. Little lawyer amigo? Yes. Now come on, provide some evidence to back up your assertion. Why would Mr. Delight want to keep his data stealing secret from the public? Yes. Mr. Delight, what you said just now doesn't match what you told me yesterday. Huh? What doesn't? I think you must have been scared. Very scared. Of having a certain person find out your secret. <laughs> a certain person. Miss Desiree Delight, the defendant's wife. Ah! Uh, but, but I... Listen to me. My Desi, she's... Looks like if I just sit back and relax, the fun will end before it truly begins. Urgh! Go not. Yes, we know. It was all your wife's fault. What do you mean? Mr. Delight stole company data to pay for his wife's spending habits for which he was fired. Unable to face his own wife, someone used his dirty little secret to blackmail him. <laughs> and that is how this murder came about. Oh! Mm hmm. No, everything is falling neatly into place for him. Save button. <laughs> Don't talk about my Desi like that, you bitch. Or you'll be sorry. For real, you will be sorry. No, he'll get in your face and yell at you, according to Desi. Well, it seems that we've learned a great deal of things here so far. What do you think, Nick? I didn't think it was possible to get so thoroughly whipped in just 20 minutes, even though... Franziska von Karma exists. Whipped? Clearly there was sufficient motive for murder. 
He stole data for his wife, and he killed to protect his secret. We didn't- Hey, shh, chill. Chill, bro, he did not kill. A family man who cared just a little too much. Death wish. The motive is clear. Let's move on. Ugh. What happened at the crime scene at one in the morning, Mr. Delight? Come now. Tell us. We're all ears. At the CEO's office. My throat is hurting because doing V's voice sucks. When I entered the office, there was a suspicious shadow there. Yeah, a f***ing look at me! That scared me when they showed it before, yeah. Suddenly, I was hit on the forehead. After that, I remember being a bit dazed. If I hadn't been wearing that, I would have been killed. If I hadn't been wearing that, I would have been killed. When I came to, Mr. Bullard was lying there, dead. He's talking about the mask. Excuse me. I see. Suddenly hit on the forehead, huh? I believe the detective from yesterday provided similar testimony. He did, actually. He did. He said that Mask Star to Mask struck him on the head from behind. Of course. Since Atme turned out to be the culprit himself, that was all a lie. Oh, that's right. Bro, so who the hell was at Lordly Taylor? Desi! Ha! <laughs> no one's going- no one's going to believe a pathetic lie like that. What are you saying? I really was attacked! We'll find out if what you say is true or not during the cross-examination. Got that, Mr. Trite? Don't go easy just because he's your client. If I see any sign that you are, I'll treat you to another cup of my special blend. You don't need to worry about that, Mr. Godot, please. I have faith in Ron. I know he didn't do it. One... One can only hope, right? I guess. When I entered the office, there was a suspicious... There was a suspicious shadow. Let me just go to this, if I hadn't been wearing that. What do you mean by that? That? Could you please clarify what you're referring to? Why, my mask star to mask costume, of course. Wait just a moment. Mask star to mask. Huh? Oh, did I forget to mention it before? Just to be on the safe side, I dressed as Mask Star to Mask. <laughs> He's looking like fly, like oh. <laughs> and then I descended upon the office of CEO of KB Security. What? Rubble, rubble, rubble. Nick, did you know about this? He never told me this. I don't recall him ever mentioning to me either. Even I didn't know that. It seems our little friend really loves to keep secrets. I'm sorry. I just never had a chance to mention it up until now. Wait, that's not right. Um, I know how sometimes things just let me mind. <sighs> My sixth cup of coffee is staring at me coldly. At any rate, we can't ignore this new piece of information. Witness, please correct your testimony. I'd have been killed if I hadn't been wearing my mask star to mask costume. Why were you dressed up as mask star to mask? Why, because I'm mask star to mask, of course. Bruh, low key he is. From what he told us in the investigation, he is, actually. Kinda. What are you talking about? 
Mask Star to Mask's trial is being held next door. Uh, yes, I guess so. Anyway, at that time, I thought I was being blackmailed over the Mask Star to Mask issue. So, I thought I should go as him, just to be safe. Oh boy. Let me tell you, it's a real pain to move around with that cape. That's why it took a lot longer than I expected. Took a lot longer? What is he talk- Press harder? What are you talking about? Um, what do you mean by took a lot longer? Oh, opening the safe, of course. My cape got caught on the safe door, you see. My cape got caught on the safe door, you see. This all happened when I was hiding Mr. Bullard's body. Whoa, what? Every, no one else knows this. That's the thing. He, we only know that. Only we know that. Okay, 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 okay. Back up a second. Yes? You were the one that hid the body in the safe? Um, well... Yeah. <laughs> Inconceivable! Order! Why? Just why? What reason could you have- What were you thinking? <laughs> Girl, that's like, this is some f Question. When does someone toss their dirty shorts in the washing machine? Oh, uh, What? The answer is simple. When they take them off. As usual, I have no idea what you are saying, Mr. Godot. Do you mean that Mr. Delight hid the body because he's the murderer? <laughs> so you're not as stupid as you look. His metaphor this time was really obscure. Mr. Wright, you don't mean... that you knew about this whole safe business? Do you? Uh, <laughs> well, yes. Why am I the only one not in the loop here? Order! Witness, make sure you add this to your testimony. Yes, sir! Uh oh, looks like a storm front is moving in over the fair weather judge. Virgil? Okay. Jokes, Capcom jokes, Capcom jokes. I panicked and hit the body in the safe. It took about 10 minutes. Okay, that 10 minutes is actually important, I think. Hold on. What do I- wait, what? Um... Uh... The buzzer went off once at 102 on October 12th. Yeah, that's gonna come in to play soon. All right, hold on. Wait, whose fingerprints were on that shit? Oh, there are no fingerprints on it. Oh, which means he had on gloves. Smack. Why did you hide the body in the safe anyway? Well, because wouldn't fit in the drawer. <laughs> what? I'm not even gonna read it. When I saw that corpse, I, I kind of lost it. I thought, if they find his corpse, they'll think I did it. Ha. Huh. I think you had a simpler reason than that. It's because you killed him. That's why you spent ten minutes hiding the body. Hmm. That certainly makes more sense. Uh, hold on. Ten minutes? What is it, Nick? I just had a thought. Under those circumstances, would you normally try to hide the body? Under those circumstances, would you normally try to hide the body? and spend ten whole minutes to do it. Under those circumstances? What circumstances? Oh! 
Oh, the buzzer. The buzzer, maybe? Hold on. Hey, Nick. If you think his behavior was so strange, why don't you present some evidence that would show you just what those circumstances were? That's it. I'll take a look at the court record and present some evidence. <laughs> okay. What? Hold on. We heard this from Mr. Delight yesterday, didn't we? There's not much in this testimony either. I bet you he's still hiding something. I would be surprised. I just have to draw it out of him. I just hope he doesn't make it any more complicated. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on. God damn it. Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. How many was it? One, two, three, four. Okay. I panicked and hit the body in the safe. Wait. How long were you out? Hold on. Um. I was just checking. I was just checking. You feel me? I was just checking. Your Honor, could you please take a look at this record? And what might this be? The record for the emergency buzzer that connects the CEO's office to security. If the button in the office is pressed, a security team is supposed to come running. Ellipses. Ellipses. And according to this record, the buzzer was pushed once. At 1.02 a.m. What? If Mr. Rondelite truly was the murderer, he would have ran as soon as that buzzer sounded. After all, a security guard would have been heading his way. Objection. Objection. <laughs> Let's remember who we're dealing with here. He probably had no idea there were security personnel in the building. Objection, let's go. He was former security, what do you mean? Up until one year ago, my client was working as a chief of security. There's no way he wouldn't have known about them. Objection. Oh, this is heat. Heat! But, as it turns out, the guard never came. Pause. That was nothing more than a coincidence. The fact that the guard is a f***ing dumbass and doesn't know how to do his job who had just gotten punched in the face by his ex's new boyfriend and wasn't anywhere in the vicinity was not something Mr. Delight would have known. That's right, actually. <laughs> Again, remember who we're dealing with here. I'm sh I... It's a sure bet that Mr. Delight didn't even notice the buzzer was going off. This is heat. This buzzer is extremely loud. There is no way he could have ignored something like that. If he had been conscious, that is. Conscious? What do you mean by that? Ellipses. Ugh. Spit. Okay. Fine. Let's hear your theory. With pleasure. Recall the defendant's save button. Recall the defendant's testimony. The moment he entered the victim's office, someone attacked him. Mr. Delight said he felt dazed and confused. I'm willing to wager that he was knocked unconscious for at least a few minutes. Uh, unconscious. So he fainted. That's why Mr. Delight didn't know that the buzzer had sounded. And that's why he thought he had time to hide the body. So what are you trying to say? Mr. Delight was knocked out, and the buzzer went off soon afterwards. Now, unless my client was able to hit the buzzer while he was unconscious, it can only mean that there was another person in that room. That's right! Whoever it was that knocked out Ron Delight and then pressed- Wait, whoever it was, they knocked out Ron Delight and then pressed the buzzer. Order in the court! Mr. Wright. This... this is... Objection. Th 
This is preposterous. It was this kid. Rhonda Light is the one who killed Kane Bullard. Huh? Then who pressed the buzzer? It was... The victim, of course. He pressed the buzzer when the defendant attacked him. He didn't die right away. He must have held on long enough to push that button. <laughs> mm -hmm. So Kane Bullard sounded the buzzer himself. What the f*** are you talking about? One AM cerebral hemorrhaging from blunt, blunt trauma, bro. So Kane Bullard sounded the buzzer himself. What is your opinion on this, Mr. Wright? I need to prove that the real criminal was there at the scene, but how? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Can I prove that it wasn't Kane Bullard who sounded the buzzer? Um... Hold on, hold on. The buzzer doesn't have any fingerprints on it. There are no fingerprints on it, so... Um... The buzzer went off at 102. If it went off at 102, and he died at 1 a.m., then he couldn't have done it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I got proof. Yeah, I can prove it all right. Let's go. The defense opinion is this, Your Honor. This piece of evidence proves that it wasn't the victim who sounded the buzzer. Now, it's either this or his autopsy report. If he died at 1 a.m., he can't press the buzzer at 102. So let's try the buzzer first, I guess. My health went away. Let's go. Well, what do you think, Mr. Godot? <laughs> I can hear it. The sound of a buzzer. Huh? It's going off inside your head at this very moment. The emergency buzzer of your heart. Is it really? Maybe just a little. Mr. Wright, you need to think more carefully. Sorry. Oof. <laughs> Oof. Guess there goes your chance to become an ace detective. Shut the f*** up, Maya. This piece of evidence will prove it. His autopsy report, then. Well, what do you think, Mr. Godot? Haha. <laughs> Is it the buzzer itself, dude? It has no fingerprints on it. Mr. Bullard, the victim, wasn't wearing any gloves, by the way, just so you know. Kane Bullard's not wearing gloves! Kane Bullard's not wearing gloves! Dude, it's the buzzer. Let's go! Let's go! I believe this is the piece of in... 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 Contr incontrovertible evidence you were looking for. The... the emergency buzzer. Is there some kind of clue on it? Absolutely not, and that's... that's the point. Hey, come on now. At least give some thought to what you say before opening your mouth. The fact that there are absolutely no clues is itself the clue. Now I'm the one who's clueless. This button has no fingerprints on it. If Mr. Bullard had really pressed it himself, naturally he would have left fingerprints behind. <laughs> Got him. No way, let's go, how so? Ron Light obviously wiped them off. No. Why would he? A guard could have come in at any moment. We discussed this already. He touched that button. I know he did. The defendant, Mr. Delight, was dressed as Mask Star Damask, who wears gloves. And Mask Star Damask always wears gloves. What reason could he possibly have to wipe the button free of fingerprints? Good lord, this is in the bag. Let's go. Order. 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 <laughs> It would seem... I am now Snake. I've been forced to eat crow. I wonder what blend number crow-flavored coffee is. However, if the real killer was there at the scene, why would that person press the emergency button? To come arrest Mr. Delight.
What? <laughs> like, what do you mean ellipses? Shouldn't they have run away without putting themselves in extra danger? What's with this awkward silence all of a sudden? <laughs> it looks like you're fresh out of parlor tricks, Mr. Trite. They're on to you, Nick! Just, just give me a minute to collect my thoughts. Okay. The real culprit killed Mr. Bullard at around 1 a.m. And Mr. Delight just happened to waltz in when the murder was taking place, right? So they smacked him, right. That's annoying. Oh, she pressed it, right, I know what it sounds like. The killer, sorry, the killer clobbered Mr. Delight and then sounded the buzzer. Even though security was supposed to respond right away if the buzzer was pressed. Security was supposed to respond. Hmm. Bro. Bro, bro, bro. You're telling me someone knew what Larry was doing? Maybe. Okay. Time's up, Mr. Wright. Let's hear what you have to say. Very well, then. Uh, hide. Oh, you've got some guts. Just like that anime character guts. I like that in an opponent. Why did the real killer sound the emergency buzzer? Um... Ooh, they- ooh, wait. Wait. God damn it, I wish I had a picture of the damn CEO's office. It's in the back, it's behind the desk. If... if Ron walked in... There's no way they could have scuffled and the button would have accidentally got pressed. There's no way. Maybe, actually? Let's go with that first one, hold up. To find out what it did, stop. Or maybe, actually. What does it even say? Bruh. If the real killer was there at the scene, why would that person press the emergency button? To come arrest Mr. Delight. What? <laughs> like, what do you mean, ellipses? Ooh, the music stopped. But at the same time, that doesn't mean anything now. In all probability, the killer didn't mean to press it. What do you mean? It's possible that they simply pressed it by accident. It could have been with their back during the scuffle, for example. There was a scuffle? Uh-huh. That must be why there aren't any fingerprints. You know what? I was thinking that, too. If there aren't any fingerprints, and, like, two out of the three guys are wearing gloves, e even, it, it could have been pressed without, you know, fingers, I guess, maybe? Unless Godot's gonna flame me? <laughs> Is there a functioning brain underneath all that ridiculous hair, Mr. Trite? Huh? The accused testifies that he was soon- that he was hit as soon as he entered the room. See, that's what I mean. In other words, as far away from the buzzer as he could possibly be at the time. Oh, you're right. It would seem you've been taken for a ride. Shut up, judge. Okay, my thought process was when the judge was saying this, dude, if he knocked out Ron and then hit the button and then dipped, he could have gotten away in time. Like, Larry even said the CEO's office is like on the third floor. 
and the security room is on the first, or in the basement even, or whatever. It would take him a while to get there, he can evade him. The killer knew that if they pressed that button, a guard would come running. And that was exactly what they wanted. <laughs> Do you mean to say the killer called the guard on purpose? Yeah. Although, as it turned out, he never showed up. Uh, right, that's what I'm saying. Because he was getting his clock cleaned at the time. Ha, <laughs> what a touching story. You're saying the killer had a change of heart and called the guard to turn himself in? No, I'm not. When that buzzer sounded, there were three people in that office. The victim, Kane Bullard, who was already dead. The defendant, Ron Delight, who was out cold. And the third person, the real killer. Is that what I was trying to prove? Okay. <laughs> Hypothetically, yes. Now then, in this situation, if the real killer made an escape, what would happen? The only ones left in the room would be the victim- Bro, this is what I was thinking when the judge was talking about, like, whatever. Th bro. And, and if any security guards came running in at that time, th they would think that I was the murderer. Yes, that was precisely the real killer objectives and that's what I thought. Yes, to frame Ron Delight for the murder. Let's go! Let's go! Order! <laughs> it would seem. I've been made to eat my words once again. Actually, you've been made to do a spit take with a cup of coffee. B Mr. Wright, who was it? Who was it that tried to frame me? Uh, uh, wait. Wait a second. I'm the one and only Mask Star to Masks. Nick! You mean the real killer is... We're going to drag that person in here... right now. But... but... who is it? <laughs> Desi! No, I'm just kidding. I am just kidding. I don't have any solid proof yet, but think about it. The killer knew Mr. Delight's identity. And they also knew that he had been called to KB security that night. Woo! Woo! So the killer used him to execute a well-crafted plan to murder Kane Bullard. Hmm. Now then, let's hear your accusation, Mr. Wright. Uh... Okay, okay, who was it that framed Mr. Delight for the murder of yada yada? Take that. Detective Luke at me. He's the only one who could have done it. East Detective. Luke at me. You mean Mask Star to Mask did it? No, Your Honor. The person being tried in the courtroom next to us is not Mask Star to Mask at all. He is, in actuality, the true murderer of Kane Bullard. Okay, that's this is not very hype because the game practically told us with that silhouette, but still. Order, order. Mr. Wright, explain yourself. Theft and murder. Which is the more serious crime? They're not even close. Murder is the more serious crime, of course. It's a capital crime subject to a capital punishment. Please remember the trial from yesterday if you would. I get to do this man's voice again. <laughs> no, I don't. Never mind. <laughs> this is scary, bro. That is one scary sprite. Look at this man. When Luke at me confessed, there was a huge commotion in the courtroom. Of course, a famous detective was unmasked as, well, mask star to mask. Instead of being convicted of murder, 
he was found guilty of grand. Oh, oh my god. This man is smart. Wow. That was his true objective all along. He really took us through the ringer just for that. No way. To be found guilty. Mask Star Damask had the perfect alibi for when the murder took place. He was stealing the urn at Lordly Taylor. In other words, being found guilty as Mask Star Damask was Luke Atme's airtight, watertight, and unassailable alibi. A guilty verdict as an alibi. This is heat. Yo, Capcom. Okay. You know, it's almost time. For what? For Luke Atme's verdict. It was a pretty simple trial after all. If we're going to stop this trial and stall that one, we need to do it now. Of course. That's assuming you have proof that the defect that the detective was the one who committed the murder? Nani? No, oh shit, hold on. Nani? Mr. Luke Admi's trial has indeed attracted the attention of the entire country. If we were to intrude and failed to provide adequate proof of his true crime, Mr. Delight would be left with no grounds for appeal. Am I really sure about this? Ha. <laughs> A bet's only good when your life's the ante. Mr. Wright, I... I believe in you. Mr. Delight. So... so... Please... I'm begging you! Welcome to the realm. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> uh... My decision will determine the rest of your life. Can I really risk your life like this? God. Capcom, you scare the shit out of me whenever you do that. Phoenix. Yes, Mia. W what was that? I I've never heard that before. This is brand new. Don't stray, Phoenix. For your client. Take the path of trust. What? Th that voice. It, it sounds like... M Mia? Your Honor! The defense requests an immediate recess. Ha. Huh. So that's your answer, huh? Very well. I've decided as well. This court will now take a 20-minute recess. Mr. Wright, when we return, please summon Mr. Luke at me to the stand. Wait a second. <laughs> yes, Your Honor. Oh, can you please break into, like, to be continued, please? I've been recording for an hour and I'm tired. Good lord, we were in there for almost two hours. Wow. <laughs> No way! We get to we get to mess with pain again, bro. No way. <laughs> wow, sir, detective at me. <laughs> I have to say, Mr. Payne, you perform splendidly. <laughs> oh no, sir, detective at me. You are the one who. Who the fuck is this? Who is this? Who is this, um... God, who do you look like? You look like some Ivan Ooze ass looking... Like... You look like you belong in cats, sir. That's enough. This court sees no reason to further prolong this trial. This court finds the defendant Luke at me. Hold it. Hold it. Wait! Don't hand down your verdict yet, please! <laughs> what is this? 
Well, well, sir lawyer. Welcome to the realm. <laughs> Welcome to my courtroom. Who's this hoser, hey? <laughs> what what is this sprite? What is this? What is going on in this game, dude? No way. My name is Phoenix Wright. I'm an attorney. And I wish to file an ac uh, accusation against this man. Look at me. A accusation? Y you accuse Mask Star to Mask. That man is not Mask Star to Mask. He's just a ruthless murderer. Wh what? Ooh. I got you sweating. Give me that to be continued. Let's go. Let's go. God, this was a good video. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. I was wrong this whole time. I really thought Desi was like the 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 main person, but I guess not. I really guess she's just some money loving trophy wife. Whatever. Luke at me literally got himself convicted of theft so he could use that as an alibi for his murder against Kane Bullard. But that's what I'm saying. Who the hell was it Lordly Taylor? Who? Desi, I think. But wait, he had the software. No, but the door was open. That photo still means something. That photo still means that a, a person dressed up as Mask Star to Mask was at Lordly Taylor. If that, if that even is like a legit photo. But we've determined that it is. It's not doctored or anything. I don't think. So Luke at me was actually at KB security. God. Dude, that the first trial of this episode was literally just a ploy. A straight ploy for Luke at me. That writing is excellent, Loki. Well, this I'm pretty sure this next video is going to be the last video for episode two. Good lord, man. Thumbs up for like having some big brain moments, Loki. I I kinda was smart at some moments during this trial. I had some moments that were not so smart, but I was on the right uh I was on the right track. I just couldn't trail, whatever. I just I wasn't there yet, but I got there. I, I always reach my destinations. Comment what you think of Godot, if you want. You know, like... Nothing past this point, though. I don't want to know anything about anything past this point. Along with Ace Attorney, you see what else I'm playing. So if you want to see any of that stuff, please consider subscribing to the channel here on YouTube or following me over at Twitch with the link in the description. Thank you very much for watching. And I hope you have a good day. Please wash your hands. Keep a social distance of six feet away from others. Wear a mask. And stay healthy. Bye.